Okay. I had a little lunch and let the dogs out. And this just gonged. And that means it's completed. Now, after I did all that, there's our stack. Isn't that cool? Now, if we played with that, the, uh, the LNC over here. En enable uh, mul uh, 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 multi-band blend band blending and LNC iterations. It'll actually blend these, these overlaps. So you won't see them, but I don't care about them because I'm not cropping anyway. So it looks a bit hot because I had it set on that max stretch down here. But again, typically the best one is, and I think it comes up by default, it's the one where on the left it starts with 15. And I think it's that, if I squint, I can see it. See, now it looks better. It's actually uh, maybe a hair dark. So let's go one more up. It went up a little, but not a lot, so let's push it more. And again, these aren't real intuitive, these sliders. That was a big one, so I'm dragging it way over. That's looking better. I want to see the crud in the background, because we want to see what to get rid of. So there's our, our stack, I mean, that was it. I, I loaded lights, I clicked integrate, and I scrolled down and clicked integrate, and this is what we got. Now, we can save this and move it into Photoshop if we want, or let's work on it just a little more. There's a couple of tools I like. There's a lot of stuff in here, but um, I've never ventured into it. There is a, uh, if I can find it, things have moved in the new version. Correct vignetting? Well, I've never had that work. If you ever get it to work and figure it out by reading instructions, <laughs> let me know, because it does not work for me. But what we have to do, that's wonderful, we're going to do a crop. And um, well, I feel like a newbie. Batch crop, is that what we want? Everything's different. It used to just say crop. All right. And I am going to crop them irregardless of um, the edges and the, the red around that the things that flats would take care of. I'm just ignoring that. And I'm going to crop simply by, I like the stars at the bottom. There's some nice blues and yellows down there, so I'm going to leave those. But I'm just kind of cropping according to what's pleasing to me. And typically like uh, 5 by 7 or 8 by 10 uh, format aspect. But in getting rid of the garbage out here by doing that too, it will average itself out and look um, even better. You can do, you can mess with your crop here, up, down, left, right, all that. You can play with that on your own. But all I did was draw the box of the crop and here I'm going to click crop and then it'll ask you like the file name and where to put it and all that. So I'm going to just say open and, and do it. Um, in this case, we want it to be a fits, and it uh, it's smart enough to know that. 32-bit, good. All right. Now, here's the weird part, too, is it, it gongs every time it's done, which is great. But um, you have to come down here. It'll add the, the new file, so the cropped file, on the bottom. So it's it said integration. That Right here it says integration. That means that was our original integration pick. I'm going to reload it. And that was it. And then the cropped, it saved again. So what you have to do is always go to the bottom and reload the latest. All right, so there's our crop. Not too bad. You can see a little LP in here. There's some kind of a reddishness. So here's what we're going to do. And, and we can, um, let's boost it some so we can see it even more. We want to see the haze and flaws. That looks pretty good. All right. See the issues here? All right. Now this is cool. That's our shot. We're going to come down here on the left again, and we are going to do uh, remove light pollution. And I don't know what it's asking me. I'll just say yeah. 
I'm not much for reading. And now what we're going to do is, it's kind of like DBE and uh, uh, Pixon site. And what we're going to do is make squares, and I'm just drawing mostly where it's background. And I'm not real sure because I never read instructions, but I don't know if we're supposed to do just the best background inward and not the crummy. But I tend to do both. I figure it wants to see the good and bad to know what to undo. So I just, you want to stay away from the nebula. Don't, because that's supposed to be there. You don't want that removed. But I'm going over the red LP over here. It's kind of a maroon. And even coming in a little bit. And let's see what happens. Um, you only need more than eight. I don't really pay much attention. I just do it like that. And then I click um, Calculate. It's here on the top. And it will think a little bit, and it will pull all of that light pollution out of there. Um, now, you can do it again if you want. Like, the red did not help, so you can say Remove Red. Click right here. You can even remove the yellows if you want. And then you can say calculate again, or you can add a few more um, boxes and say calculate again. Um, I think it did a fine job the way it was. So I'm going to say OK and save. And it's going to give me this new thing again. I want to make sure it saves and it fits. I believe it is. I just ignore most anything I don't understand. <laughs> I, get rid I just ignore. Now all that LP is gone. Isn't that sweet? I mean, who needs flats, right? It was all red right around here, and the vignette's gone. And so now, since we did that, that's kind of like a background white balance. So you get a nice black balance, black um, neutral, neutral black. That's what we want. Whether it's dark gray or black is fine. Then we're going to go down over here. We did remove light pollution, and under that, there's calibrate background. But that's pretty much the same thing, so skip that. Calibrate star colors. And what's neat about this, and I just say yes, and I don't read it. What's neat about this is it kind of does a white balance on the stars and corrects your nebula as well. So right now it says calibrating star colors. What? It, oh, no, I'm supposed to take samples. I'm sorry. So what you do now is you do the same thing, and you try to grab groups of stars if you see some tight groups or there's a nice yellow and blues up in here there's a blue um, there's not a whole lot of rules to it it just give it some stars and i could stop at eight you know but i'm just trying to give a demo here giving you more for your money all right stay away from the nebula and let's do calculate and this will be fun. I have a bunch of stuff here in case you want to read it. I don't. And you got your little ear, ear counter down here as it does it. And you know how your nebulas, I mean, this was an MBZ filter, and, and your nebulas are always all red. That's because the red's so heavy on them. What this is going to do as it pulls the red out of those stars, it's going to pull the red out of the nebula too. And it will be more balanced. It will let you see what the dust color really was instead of red. It was more like, you know, a dusty, dirty rock. Um, it will then pull the red out of your whites and your, your other colors because this nebula actually has a lot of um, like teals and cyans and it's, it's really pretty when you balance it. Uh, it's normally quite quick at this. I don't know what's going on now. If I ask for something, maybe too many boxes and it's slower. 19 areas selected, it says. It's normally very quick, like um, 10 seconds at most. So I'm wondering if I'm... I hear my drive clanking. Saving something. It may be possible that I told it to save it in a tiff by not paying attention. We really would like to keep it all in fit still. And wow, I'm going to abort it because 
it's not getting anywhere and I hear it saving so let's do a cancel and try that again uh, all right that's the one with the background removal we're gonna go back into calibrate star colors let's read it this time <laughs> Calibrate the colors in the image, current image, in the image view, yeah. And let's try maybe fewer stars. I, my drive is still clunking, so I don't, it, it might be busy doing something else. All right. Let's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It will probably spit up on that, so we're going to give it eight. Try again. It says eight boxes. I'm going to do calculate there we go that's the speed it should do it it's cranking up here Dumb. there's uh 37 subs used i looked while it was uh cranking and <clears throat> they're from the uh, 2600 mc so they're about 50 50 megabytes each so they're not huge like my full frame but they're not small either now again I don't really know what's going on here but I like what it did you start to see other colors in here it's not just red you can fine-tune that you can drag these uh, this is like where your stars are I think these are your blues or something these are your reds again if you want to get into it deep you can probably read the manual <laughs> Um, I don't. I just like what it does. It gives me a decent balance, and then I click uh, OK and save. As somebody would who is lazy. All right. And now that's that's pretty much it. That was. I mean, how easy. Now, um, what we're gonna do is you can try different stretches on it if you like, but I really like where I'm at there. It's the blacks are not, you know, blocked up, and the whites aren't blown out. Maybe a little blown. You can maybe bring it down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. You 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 want to keep the contrast down to keep all the tones and. Oops, it went up. I went the wrong way. Where is this one? There we go. I like that better. All right. So. You can mess with the color. You can even come over here, and there's, there's, uh, what is that? H. I got to lean forward. HSL selective color. You can go in there and actually tweak the colors. But again, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, so I don't, I don't bother with it in this program. I figure it's done its job. It's good, and I'm gonna do a save. And I want to do a TIFF, which it is 16 bit. And you can do a JPEG after you save it as a TIFF. Save it as a JPEG if you want to, you know, to show. Say this is what it, it was stacked without any post-processing other than uh, the two tools. So I'm going to say OK. And it's saving that in my app work directory as a TIFF, so it's big. And as long as we're at it, let's... Uh, See if I can save it as a t uh, JPEG too. Uh, that'll be an 8-bit sRGB. Okay, so we can do that. It makes it easier to post it online if I want to share where it was. Or I can do a, I'm going to do a screen cap in case you want to see this later. So there, I have that captured. Um, I use a, sh a program for that. You can do it with print screen built into Windows. And then there was also used to be a snipping tool that I used built into Windows. And, and when they went to Windows 11, they ruined it. So I went and found one, and it's called Green Shot. One word. It's free, and you push one button, print screen I have it set to, and I drag and drop, and it'll save this area of the screen. My, I have two screens here, and it's all together about 79 inches wide, but I, I'm showing you about... Yeah. 14 inches to make the video smaller okay so we can just bail out at this point you could close it I'm just gonna move it aside and I am going to bring up Photoshop and 
then since this is a second video, I'll try to merge them together or we'll just put them in parts. And then I'm going to move this into the area that I am recording, which is a very small area of my screen. So I just bring it up. Okay. And let's load it. Uh, file open. It was, I believe, in my Astro Master. Up from there. App work. So this is where I throw my my app work. And I'm supposed to find Pac-Man here, if that's where I threw him. And maybe it's in this app work. I got two app works. I see old my old time I did. That was when I worked on this stack before. Oh, I sh there's also a star removal. We should have went back to that. Good thing I didn't close it. Let's do that real quick. Um, I've only done it once as a demo. Let's pull uh, that out of there. Um, here it is. Star reducer. Now, really, I don't. I don't know if it needs a star reduction. It looks really good, but sometimes the stars overpower. So let's just play with it. Star reducer. Do you want to do... Well, yeah, I clicked it. I hate stupid questions. All right. And we can do click remove stars. I've only done this like once playing with it. Do I do click on calculate? I might, might have had to do sliders. I don't know. There. And there's still some, some you know, little fogs in there from them. You can uh, go into Photoshop easily get rid of those. But I never want to remove stars. But look at our color. I mean, we haven't even touched color yet. So anyway, I'm going to undo that. Because I don't want to remove them. I just like to reduce them. Shoot. Oh, there we go. You have to get the last one. Hopefully we saved it. We did. Stars are slightly excessive, but not too bad. So let's try. Let's not remove stars. Let's just see if we can get rid of some of them. I'm going to go down to about 0.7 from 1.0. Click star halos. We don't have any halos. Uh, star size. Uh, let's bring them down a little bit. Again, 75%. Peak intensity, you can turn down their brightness a bit. Um, maybe a little. Let's bring it down to 90. Uh, threshold is something or other. Some kind of math. You don't want to touch anything with numbers involved. <laughs> I don't do numbers. Calculate, and let's see what we get. Here it comes. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, I like that better. And um, I'm trying to think, do we have to save it again? I think we do. That's nice. So save. And we'll want to save it as a, a FITS version. Or TIFF. It's going out to um it's going out to Photoshop. Let's leave it on the TIFF. 16 bit, SRGB, okay. All right. Oops, still saving. Trying to see where the file went. Anyway, let's put that away. We removed stars. We're going to bring in Photoshop. And see if we can find where I put that file. Hold on a minute. I'm switching glasses. 
I can't read anything. I'm laying back in my, I got like a lounge chair here. And if I want to sit up more, I can put on reading glasses. The old guy might be able to see. Uh, let's see here. A little bit hurt, but blurry. Open and Astro Masters and I think I'm at one up from there. App work. All right, that's it. Pac Man demo crap. That's the JPEG. When I save that, there's a TIFF. And this should be probably the stars removal one. Yeah. And to show you the difference, let me see if I can get this in the in the view. Whoops. I hate it when Windows tries to think for itself. Let's do this. <laughs> it keeps jumping over. It doesn't want me to. Dang it. <laughs> uh, shoot. Let's do... Um, I'm going to be able to see it when I flash between them. So, let's see where to go. That's our JPEG, and this is our TIFF, and this is our TIFF with star removal, I believe. No, that's a brighter one. Is that removed? Yeah, there's stars removed in there, but I don't know why it went lighter. Here nor there. I want to make sure I got the right file. Let's grab that one, and we'll do an open. And again, I'm working in a tiny area here because I don't want to record the whole screen. So it makes it really hard for me. It's, everything's tiny. But here is our shot. No flats, no darks, virtually no noise. And uh, what would I do at this point? There's different things you can do. There is, there's no one set um, routine. And if you don't know what to do, a good place to start, I don't use it often because I can see color, but you can do uh, image uh, uh, and do auto color. And that looks maybe worse, but it's not. It's The sky is too cyan, but it made the center. Let me do an undo. It took out a lot of that fake color. All right, so you got, this is how it opened. We had pulled the red out in the LP, or the star color balance, and we just did a auto color here. And what's nice is you can see the difference between, you know, like how many more colors there are. Now we've got more of a white in here, and, and I see a trace of, like, uh, teal in there. I start to see things that we should see instead of just yellow. So I'm going to leave it on auto color. And then we know that it's a little cyan because the overall color is slightly cyan. Let's go into image, adjustment, and color balance. And we can pull some of that cyan out. But I don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to do a little. Otherwise, that space looks pretty good. The whites are slightly cyan, but not bad. The black is definitely cyan. So then I go into image, adjust, selective color, and I tell it, everything's opening on the other side of my screen, and I tell it each color I want to adjust. And what looks worse right now is that black is not black. So I'm going to go to blacks, and the opposite of cyan is red, so I'm going to reduce the cyan. Then, and just a hair, I don't want to go too far. And then I'm going to add a little yellow 
to the blacks. It's getting better. And maybe just a hair of magenta. And you can play with these. There's green magenta. And zero is where it was. And I'm going to go just plus two. And then I'm going to go into the reds. And I'm going to pull us some red out. And look at how it's getting nicer in the middle. Then my yellows almost seem too yellow. So I'm going to go into the yellows. And orange, or not orange, magenta makes it seem more, more like dirt, dusty gold. I like that better than the yellow. You can also play with yellow down. All the yellows just turn to like a, a pink or a yellow way up. I don't like that, so I'm going to leave it right in the middle. You can also darken with black on the colors. You can darken the colors. So I just darkened all the yellows, and now I'm lightening the yellows. And again, too light and too dark are both bad. But from where it was, lightening it just a hair is good. Then there's a, a little teal in that beige, and I would like to see it. So let's see what happens if we go to cyans and try upping them. And it go, going back and forth lets you flip it on and off, and you can see where the best happy medium is. And I like it like about there. The whites are a little cyan, so let's go to whites and pull just a touch of cyan. And let's add a little yellow, because I'm not seeing much star color. Now it's starting to come through. The yellows are starting to appear. And you can do that, too. You can play with the blacks and see, look at what happens to your whites. You can pump the whites, or you can subdue them a little. And they seem to be slightly yellow, so I'm going to pull that back off a bit. It's a, it's a lot of just trial and error. And then here's a preview, so you can do that. That's how it was before I started. And this is after. And that white still seems a little hot, so I'm going to bring it down a little. Never want to have too much contrast. And then the blacks are a little too contrasty. So let's go to uh, blacks again and just bump them up so they're not. And then as you get up here, it's black up here, but it's gray here. So let's go into the grays, which is neutrals. And play with the, oh, that helped a lot. That was just uh, plus five yellow. And again, you can go blacks on the gray and, and bring everything up, your back sky background, so it's not all blocked. That's a minus three. Let's go to zero again. So again, here's original and preview. And it, it has kind of a strong yellow in it, so I'm going to do OK. Image, color balance again. A lot of this is just bouncing back and forth from selective color to, let's try auto color. Oh, that's not bad either. That brought more of that cyan or in the center. So let's then go back to uh, selective color black and get rid of the cyan from the blacks. And if I'm in doubt as to what to do, I'm, what I'm doing is just trying to get the black and black. It. It's pretty blue yet. And again, you can lighten your blacks or make them super dark. I don't like them super dark, but I do like them black. Too many people leave them too light. I mean, it is space. And in doing that, I've, I've embellished more of that color in the center. Now, the color in the center, there's hints of color there. So I'm not going to paint it. I don't ever paint. I'm going to take the sponge in saturate mode. There's desaturate, there's saturate, and this is how much. So I'm going to better go a little bit at a time. And then I put my hand on the keys that make the brush bigger and smaller. And then I am saturating. I'm just in increasing the color that's there that I could just see a hint of. 
and you can see it, see how it's turning blue? That's not me. I'm not painting. It's really there. Now that there's blue, I can go into Image, Adjust, Selective Color, Blue, and I can play with that blue. I can make it a little more teal. It's probably more realistic. Pull out a little magenta. Let's play with the lights and darks and just see what happens. See that blue come in there, that teal? Play with cyan. Probably a little more yellow to warm it up. It's coming nice. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to go over to um, saturation. So you go image, adjust, saturation, hue, saturation. You pick it and drag it in here. And you can push the color. Now let's go to extreme so you can see what's going on. <laughs> we don't want that. That's black and white. Zero is where it was. And we're just going to go up maybe to where it looks nice. That looks pretty good. I'm plus seven. I'm going to do OK. And I still like that center best. So I'm going to go back to saturate and enlarge my brush. And saturate just increases the color where I'm clicking my mouse right now. The outside is still a little blue, so watch this. I, there's different ways to do it. I can go back into black and remove the lasso tool. And I am going to lasso in there. And then you must close it for it to, to finish. And then I'm going to go to select modify feather. And for this, you're going to have to learn this by doing, but in this, because this is a big image yet, we didn't downsize it. I'm going to go um, 20. Sometimes I go 2, 3, depending on the size of the image. And now what's happened is it's selecting just the center. Well, I don't want that. I want to adjust the space. So I am going to do inverse. And now you can see the space is selected. So now I'm going to get rid of that blue. I wonder if I click auto color. No, nope, still blue. Let me undo that just so I don't mess it up. I'm going to do image, adjust, selective color to blacks. And we're going to pull the blue by adding yellow. And I'm starting to see a green, so I'm going to add a magenta, which is opposite of green. And if I pull the cyan, you can see it turns red. I don't like that. I'll probably leave that there. Add a little more yellow. And it's, the background isn't too bad. Let's go back to neutrals and do the same. I still see a lot of cyan in those stars. And the black's a little too dark, so let's leave that bit. Since the stars look cyan, the stars are mostly white, I'm going to go, or we can go to cyans first and do. Oh, that helped. Pull the cyans out of space here. And let's just play with the blacks again and not go quite so dark. You can always do that to taste. Now, as I push it, it looks really quite yellow. So let's pull some yellow out of the blacks and push it again. Now it's almost a little red. There. Now that's pretty neutral. And a little bit of a little bit of warmth in there, but that's okay. So now I bring down the blacks where I want them just to be, and you can do the same if you want for the neutrals. You can bring them down just to fuzz and do okay. And now by clicking outside the picture, we just got rid of that. Now I'm seeing some blues in here. I'm not nuts about. I'm going to bring that back again and go selection inverse. And this is now the inside is corrected. And I'm going to zoom in so I can see it. I'm going to do image adjustment, selective color. I'm going to see if I can't get that blue that looks weird in here. I'll make it yellow. 
Yeah, see the, the blue in, around the blacks? Watch what happens. I'm going to add yellow in that. Pulls that blue out of there. I like that better too. It's a little magenta. And I could darken it a fuzz. And then I'm going to go into the blacks and pull some blue too. Cause it's, there we go. And then the stars in there are a little too cyan, so we'll go to cyan's and back that off. And then I'm going to click outside again to get rid of the selection. And now our color is really nice. What we can do too to check it is do image, adjust, saturation, and pump it. And then, I mean, you don't want to pump it too much, and you don't want it to even be like neon. But that lets you kind of see the flaws that might be there still. But there, you don't see them until it's way up. So I'm going to go from zero, which is normal, and just add a little more saturation by being at 11. And again, I can saturate because that saturated the gold. So I'm going to saturate the center. All right, now this is cool too. There's another little trick I do. See the details in here? I can go to the burn tool. Burn is right here. This is the burn tool. Size this. And I tell it that you can burn the highlights, the mids, or the shadows. So I'm going to burn the shadows, which means the darkest tones. Oops, I was on highlights. I thought, why is it doing that? I'm going to go back. This is your history. I can go back and undo that. Now I'm going to go to shadows. I dragged it too far. There we go. And see these, how they, they're they there, but they're not real sharp? By hitting them with the burn tool, you increase the contrast of those of this area. And I see like a cyan in there in the whites. You can also go to sponge, desaturate, and I can see I'm clicking on it a bunch of times and I'm pulling that cyan out of the stars. Wherever it looks unusually like stars really are in cyan. Then if you want, you can go to Sharpen, which is this triangle. And with it real small, you can brush it over that. Wherever it looks like there's detail that we'd like to see better. Now I wanted this to be a basic lesson. But let's give you a little sample of a bit of everything. Let's go back to um, burn. And let's burn shadows out here. And what that will do is define the structure more. And doing it in there, it'll show more detail too. And that's pretty dang good right there. Now, it actually seems like too much space. There's nothing to include out here. So let's let's crop it a little more. Put it, yeah, I mean, you want it to be in your face when you show people. Image, crop. And if you double click on the, uh, what do you call that thing? Magnifying glass, it'll go to full size. So this is one to one. Um, we didn't use Flat Pro because we don't need it, need it because we did it in um, app. But let's do Flat Pro just the way I show you. I probably would not do it. Um, it is in Filters, Pro Digital. I got uh, Astro Flat Pro. This will come up. And I'll downsize it so it fits in the video. That looks nasty to me. So we're going to try and undo everything. That's pretty much undone. So what you can do is 
bring this in. See the see how it t takes the haze away from the edge. So you can just just till you see it pull a little of that. And then edge cleanup doesn't need any, but that'll clean the edges of the um, entire frame or a little bit around uh, Pac-Man, the nebula. And then dark noise reduction. I don't get noise, but this can pull the reds and the terrible noise out of the background. So you go like that. And it, it just kind of flattens it. See it real quick. It, it evens, takes darker areas and makes them lighter. It just so around middle is good. And now we're going to do a preview. So this is before Astro Flat, and that's after. Well, that's before, and that's that's after. And if you feel the background's too dark, you just go back in and adjust the blacks again. I like it. I'm going to say OK. And you can go back here and do adjustments, selective color, and go back to your blacks and pump them up just a touch or down. Some people post them like that. I don't like that. I think they got to be black, but enough so you can see detail in it. Not enough. And that's about it. Now we would do a save. Save as. I try to change the name a little bit. So. I don't overwrite the original. And uh, that'll all be fine. And uh, what else can we do here? I can put my name in the corner. You click Tools. It's a little type tool. You click on it. You write your name. You upsize it, because this is a full-size image yet, so it's pretty big. You drop that. I got a capital R in there by mistake, but we don't care. We're lazy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to flatten. Um, now, there are, I was going to say, what else could we do? There are um, actions. And I have some. I don't know if you can buy them anymore. I, tr I lost them, and I tried to contact her, and she didn't respond, and I finally found them on my other desktop downstairs. I can do um, reduce stars, but I don't know if we need to. Let's do it just for the heck of it, because we did it already once. Reduce stars, watch. See, they just a teeny bit. You can do it more than once, but they start looking funny. Then do, uh, I want to get more star color. E -e -e. Let me go bigger. Again, I can't see all my stuff because I made it small for the video. Normally, I know it's it's right in here somewhere. I want to everything moved. There's dust lanes. You can play with all kinds of stuff. I don't do a whole lot. I don't like to phony things up too much. But there should be an increased star color. Brighten color. I think that's this. I'm going to click it and see what happens. I don't know if that was star color. It seemed to be all color. Yeah, I like it. Not, not uh, all color, just stars if I can find it. The video's getting huge. Anyway, you click increase star color if you can find it. And, oh, here it is. It's asking me when and where, and I'm going to say just do it. And do it. And I actually didn't grab the right one. I don't like that. I don't like it makes you manually do stuff. There's one that's just um, automatic. 
let's pretend we did it. There was a <laughs> there's a button that says increase star color, which of course moves every time I resize things, and I used to know where it was. So I'm sick of looking. So there it is. And if we want to go back to how it was originally, I don't know if we lost it or not. There was our original, and there's our final. And then what I normally do is I'll do a select, all, edit, copy, stop it! And then I'll go back to the original. I'll do an image, canvas size. Canvas size is 42. It's huge. But we're going to double that to 84. Push it all down. And then I got enough room there to do a paste. And then I can post this on Lazy Imager. I can even crop again. Image crop, flatten the two images, and there it is. It's big. Let's bring it down. I like 2000. Let's do image size, uh, yeah. image, image size. It's a monster, it's uh, about almost 4000 pixels. We're going to go down to 2000 wide. And you'll see this in the group. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Save as. It wants to be a TIFF. We'll change it to a JPEG. And we'll say save a copy. JPEG. Save. And I like um, about 10 for quality. And I'll pop this on. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Talk to you later.